Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snapshot video. Today, Snapshot 12W36A was released and this has got a whole ton of stuff in which is pretty epic, so I'm just going to get started straight away. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is something to do with my little pet pig here. And in this chest, as you can see, I've got a saddle and I've also got this fishing rod and some carrots. So if I go ahead and take them and put them in the crafting table I'll get this thing called a carrot on a stick and the cool thing about a carrot on a stick is that you using it while on the pig you can control where the pig goes so I'm going to go ahead and place the saddle on the pig and I'm going to right click on the pig and if I hold the carrot and stick it will move where, whichever way I'm pointing so I'll just go ahead and open this gate and let's head out of here come on pig Go faster. And also, if you right click on, uh, I think if you right click on him or left click or something, uh, he'll go faster. As you can see, I'm moving pretty fast. Da -da -da. Ah, shift. Ah, ah, ah. Oh yeah. Just sinking into my pig here. So it's pretty epic. Now you can actually control the pig. I'm just gonna take him back into the pen. There we are. And let's get off. Oh, you had to put me outside the fence, didn't you? And another neat feature is before, if once you put your saddle on, you couldn't get it back. But if I was to go ahead and kill the pig die, look, he dropped the saddle. So now I can actually get the saddle back. And they're not such of a thing to lose anymore. So I'm just go ahead and put that away. And put that away. And let's also put this carrot on a stick away. So don't need that anymore. And the next thing I'm going to show you is... If I just come inside here, they've now added these skulls, and they can be placed on wall. So as you can see, they've been placed on the wall, and they can also be placed on the ground. So they're very slightly further out, so they're in the middle. And you can go ahead and destroy them, and they'll drop the item. And this right here is the new uh, mob that's been added, and this is a wither skeleton skull. And with the skeleton skulls are drop uh, are dropped very rarely by wither skeletons and they're found in the nether. And there's I'll show you something that you can something cool that you can do with the skeleton skulls in a minute. But I'm just gonna collect these and show you some stuff. So if I go ahead I can go and place them on the ground again and you can also place them diagonally, so that's pretty cool and you can also place them on your head so I'm a skeleton and you can also you can just put any one you want, so I'm now with the skeleton zombie head I can pretend to be Steve hello, I'm pencil and I'm Steve, I'm Steve hello uh, so you can put them on your head which is pretty cool and now I'm going to go ahead and go to the nether and I'll show you the show you the nether skeletons. So if you're in the nether and you spawn skeletons, there's a very high chance that you'll spawn a wither skeleton. And oh crap. Okay, well that didn't go so great. I just died. So let's go ahead and change my game mode. Let's grab all the stuff I need. So what do I need? I need skeleton egg. One, two, three. I need three of them, and I also need some soul sand. So let's go ahead into the nether and I'll go and show you them. Oh, yes! I got some of it back because it came back from the other side of the portal. Yeah, so that's why I died. There's a massive bit of lava. So I'm just going to go ahead and spawn some skeletons, and it's very peaceful. So let's see what we there. Oh, there we are. So as you can see, they're a bit bigger than normal skeletons, and you see they're taller. And they also hold a stone sword, and they have a very rare chance of chance of dropping a stone sword when they're killed. So let's just see what we kill one of these. And they also have a rare chance of dropping uh, a wither head. And they can also drop coal, bones, and there's my diamond sword. I lost. Let's go 
I can't pick that up for some reason. So now I'm going to show you an even epicer thin. I don't even think that's a word, but well, even more epic thin that you can do with these with a stylus and scrolls. So if you go ahead and you place soul sands like so, and then you place a wither head, a wither head, and a wither head, it will spawn this wither boss. And for some reason, it's got half half health at the moment. Oh, it's gaining health. Oh, good. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, uh, and it's after slimes now. So as you can see, it's pretty devastating. And I'm going to go ahead and change my game mode. I'm not sure this is going to be a wise idea. But I'm just going to do some more. Give me some more. Armor. I've already got boots. Some leggings. Let's go ahead and put these on and let's change my game mode. Come after me, mate. Come after me. Come after me. See, see whether we can get this guy. Oh, don't hit me. Oh god. Oh no. No. Where is he? So this is a boss, and he's pretty difficult. As you can see, this one. Quite a bit of the land. And he's nice, so it's not that great. He also regenerates life, so as you can see. I've hit him a few times and he's actually still got the same amount of life. So I'm just going to run away from him. And I'm going to change my game before I die. And let's just get some arrows. Now he's But let's just come away from my house that doesn't have some And he always seems to stay by me. It's pretty difficult to kill out. So he takes a hell of a lot of hits, and once he gets to half health, you can't actually hit him with arrows. You'll just have to flip and get like this shield. Let's just get rid of this sword. Come on, diamond my friend. Don't put him into the. He's just going higher and higher. So as soon as I get into half health, he should get immune to arrows, though I'm not sure. But oh my god, we're high. Let's see if we can get this beast. There we are. As you can see, he's now got some shields, so if I try and shoot him. Oh, I missed it. But I did, I did actually. As you can see, they're just literally bouncing off of him. And he's going down now. That's just a game. So let's see whether we can kill this guy. And I'll just clear some inventory space for the stuff he drops. So he's pretty difficult. I've hit him a million times. And as you can see, what, what's that falling? And you may wonder, but that is another star. And there it is. Let's go and collect it. So we've got our very special nether star. And so it's pretty difficult to get, you will get with the scrolls which are very rare to get. You've got to get, get the nether, get soul sand, you've got to be good enough to kill him. And now if I just go ahead and get myself a crafting table. With the crafting table, you can go ahead and get five pieces of glass and three obsidian. And I'll just place this down. And then you should place the obsidian at the bottom glass round here and a nether star in the middle you'll get this thing called the beacon and the beacon was previously implemented into the game so it's got all the same features but it looks slightly different and I think it looks better it looks like this so it's sort of got that effect from the end with the ender dragon and if you right click on it you get this GUI and if you don't know how to get it working, you need iron blocks, emerald blocks, anything like that. And you also need some iron. And then you place five by five, five grid, and you just get taller and taller. So let's just put some down here. You can place that on and just update. As you can see, we're now getting power from the sky now drawing the energy 
and I can choose which ones I want. So now they have haste, jump boost. So let's do it haste. Then you put an iron indoor or any of these four gems in there. Click done. And then you'll start receiving that um, enchantment. There we are. Haste. And so as you can see, my arm movement is much, much faster. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I think I covered everything. Uh, if I didn't, then go to the Minecraft Wiki and check it out. And I've also just noticed the Don characters had a sprite change. So it was very slightly different before. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more, more Minecraft content, including modding, also snapshots, mod reviews, and I do a lot of Minecraft modding, so if you want to get started with either Forge or Mod Loader, please go and check out my videos or subscribe to me. So that's going to be all for this video guys, hope you all enjoyed it, peace out.